Um, hello, good afternoon, and uh, welcome to Verses and Paragraphs. Today on Verses and Paragraphs, we're celebrating World Poetry Day. Can you believe it? I forgot it was World Poetry Day yesterday, but we're still in the euphoria of World Poetry Day. So today, we are celebrating World Poetry Day. Now, the World Poetry Day is celebrated on the 21st of March and was declared by UNESCO. And UNESCO is the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. It was declared in 1999. And the purpose of the World Poetry Day is to promote the reading, writing, publishing and teaching of poetry throughout the world. And as the original de declaration says, to give fresh recognition and impetus to national, regional, and international poetry movements. Now, yesterday, all over the world, I guess, but I know in Nigeria, there are so many poets and there are so many poetry groups that held celebrations. Some of the poetry celebrations have been held last weekend, some are going to be held this weekend, some were held yesterday in commemoration, but all of them had to do with poetry. I was hoping to bring on one of the poets today, but apparently we we're not able to bring the poets. Mukhtar, thank you for coming on. Mukhtar is watching from wherever he's watching from. He has refused to tell me where he's watching from. Judith is watching. Good morning, Judith. We're celebrating. Okay, good morning in Canada <laughs> and good afternoon in Nigeria. Today we're celebrating World Poetry Day. It was yesterday, the 21st of March, and somehow it escaped me. So I feel that since this our program has to do with poetry and the creative arts, we should do something on World Poetry Day. Now, talking about world poetry. For every okay, good morning from Hamilton, Ontario. Thank you so much. Franca Oputa, my friend. I remember you. We're together on the boat ride. Thank you for joining. Today we're talking about World Poetry Day. Uh, we're celebrating World Poetry Day, which was ex actually March 21st, I forgot, but since it's a creative group. We are celebrating it today. Now we're talking about poetry. For Nigerians and people all over the world, especially in Africa, everyone knows Zeke. We know him as the politician, the journalist, the publisher, the premier. But do you know Zeke as the poet? Dr. Benjamin Namdi Azikiwe was also a poet, and he wrote a co collection of poems. He has, I think he had like two collections of poems. One of them is Meditations, and it was published in 1977. And he had almost 200 poems in that collection. Now, I'm going to, in celebration of the World Poetry Day, and since Zeke is called the Great Zeke of Africa, and he was our very first president in Nigeria, I am going to be reading a poem and I'd like you to listen carefully and tell me what you think because even though it was written in 1958, it is uncanny the bearing it has on what is happening today, 60 years later. And it is titled Consumatum Est, which in Latin means it is finished. Now here goes the poem. Now is the time to make way for our youth and give them the chance to do what they have planned. To make secure the freedom of our land, pursuing fervently the path of our truth. Guru Elijah, I would like to welcome you. I know you are watching from Lagos. I am reading a poem written by the Greek Zeke of Africa in commemoration of World Poetry Day, which actually was celebrated yesterday, but we're still in the celebration mood. So I'm reading a poem written by the Great Seek of Africa. I'd like you all to, I'm not going to stop again to welcome, I'll welcome everybody when I've finished reading, but I'd like everyone to listen carefully and then tell me what you think. This poem was written in 1958. I'll start again. Now is the time to make way for our youth and give them the chance to do what they have planned, to make secure the freedom of our land, pursue fervently the path of our truth, we have had our chance to serve our native soil. We have fought the wars and won. But then we found that we have left a legacy of toil. 
this nation shone, someone must build anew. This nation torn, someone must mold and forge. Bunk that was swallowed, someone must disgorge. New friends and comrades, someone must now woo. The old, we must admit, have done their best. We should now sing our consummation est. And this was written by the Great Sick of Africa in 1958. It is so uncanny because this is like 60 years after, and this was in 1958 he wrote it, and it's so uncanny to see that it's as if he could see into the future and know what is happening. I'd like to read it again. And while I read it again, please listen and tell me your honest opinion. This was written by the Great Stick of Africa in 1958, and I'm reading this poem in commemoration of World Celebration world poetry day which is celebrated on the 21st of march and which we forgot on verses and paragraphs he used an aphora too great what is the aphora he used judith all right now i'm going to read the poem again butchi you are welcome to verses and paragraphs uh we're celebrating world poetry day and in commemoration of that i'm reading a poem of the great sick of africa which he wrote in 1958 and which is uncanny because it's 60 years after he wrote it, but it is so true to today. Now I read. Now is the time to make way for our youth and give them the chance to do what they have planned, to make secure the freedom of our land, pursuing fervently the path of our truth. We have had our chance to serve our native soil. We fought the wars and won but then we found that we have left a legacy of toil. This nation shone, someone must build anew. This nation torn, someone must mold and forge. Bunk that was swallowed, someone must disgorge. New friends and new comrades, someone must now woo. The old we must have met have done their best. We should now sing our consummatum est. This was written on the 17th of November, 1958 by the great Sick of Africa. And it looks like he's addressing our youth. And not just addressing our youth, he's also addressing our, the, 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 the elders of our land. We are commemorating, oh sorry, we are celebrating World Poetry Day. And as everybody knows, it was declared by UNESCO in 1999 as a time for an opportunity to celebrate poetry. And on verses and paragraphs, we are celebrating the great Sikh of Africa, who was the first president of Nigeria. And he had a collection of poems, not just one, about two of them. One of them, Meditations, was published in 1977 with close to 200 poems. Yes. Judith, you are right. The na this nation was repeated a few times down the verse. And you're, okay, you're, 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 see, Judith, you're one of my best students. You're my A student, A plus plus student. We talked about anaphora a couple of days ago, and anaphora is the repetition of certain words or phrases at the beginning of a sentence. And of course, the great Zeke has used anaphora, and we did say anaphora is used in poetry. He talked about this nation shone. But you didn't notice what said, this nation shone someone must build anew this nation torn someone must mold and forge and it cannot be the people who have already torn it and shown it so he's actually addressing our youth and this was in 1958 we're in 2018 that is 60 years after isn't it uncanny that the great Zeke had this futuristic view when he was talking about our country, Latifat Aduke Balogun, Your Excellency is watching. I don't know your country where you are, but you're welcome. Blessing is watching from Kaduna. You're welcome to the show. We are talking 
or celebrating World Poetry Day on verses and paragraphs. Yesterday was World Poetry Day, a day that UNESCO has set aside. They declared it in 1999, set aside to honor poets, poets to encourage poets. And yesterday, I know that some people, I wanted to bring on one of my friends today, but he's so busy. He actually had a show yesterday. Some of the poets or poetry groups have done their celebrations last weekend. Some are going to do them this weekend. But today on Verses and Parks and possibly tomorrow, we are celebrating World Poetry Day. And I am celebrating it on Verses and Paragraphs, reading the poem of the great Zeke of Africa, which he wrote in 1958. Just one more time, since this is a very short poem, for the benefit of those who are just coming on. And I would also like you to lend or give me your contributions what you think about this poem how apt do you think it is to what is happening today because usually when poets write they write out of experiences now great zeke of africa wrote this poem in 1958 great now judith orogun is saying that judith orogun is watching from ontario canada she says we will repeat the mistakes of the past if we are unaware of what went before i did not even know that the great zeke of africa was a poet Neither did I know. <laughs> it was one of my friends, Dr. Raphael James, who told me that he was a poet. And I went online to go and check. And beyond all that he was, Great Sick of Africa was a poet. He wrote close to 200 poems. He has two publications. One of them is Meditations, was published in 1977. And he's actually apparently addressing the youth in 1958. Oh, my big bros, my doctor brother. Braifo is watching from Asaba. Braifo, you're welcome. So I'm going to read the poem again once more. Then you listen and then tell me. Judith has already told me what she feels about it and I really actually believe. This is Great Zeke of Africa in 1958 writing. Now is the time to make way for our youth and give them the chance to do what they have planned. To make the secure the freedom of our land. Pursuing fervently the path of our truth. We have had our chance to serve our native soil. We have fought the wars and won, but then we found that we have left a legacy of toil. This nation shone, someone must build anew. This nation torn, someone must mold and forge. Bunk that was swallowed, someone must disgorge. New friends and comrades, someone must now woo. The old, we must admit, have done their best. We should now sing our consummation est. And consummation est is the Latin for it is finished. And this was written by the Great Zeke of Africa on the 17th of November in 1958. He was addressing the youth then in 1958, but I guess he saw into the future and he's also addressing the youth of today. The old are acknowledging their mistakes. And then there's something that I really like. It's a bunk that was swallowed. Someone was now disgorged. Disgorged means throw up vomit. So whatever it is that they have swallowed, Nigeria's wealth, someone must disgorge it. Yes, okay. Judith Orogu is now saying that Judith Orogu is watching from Ontario Hamilton in Canada. And she says, Zeke was also a visionary. Maybe we should revisit some of his poems and other writings. They may contain some deep truths yet to be openly discussed. I agree with you. I mean, if you wrote this in 1958, and it is so true to what is happening in our country today, then we should. I think, yes. I think uh, we should, yes. I think we should, yes. Um, uh, this is an aphora. I'm repeating somebody. We should, yes. We should, yes. <laughs> I think we should look for some of these poetry groups and then look for some of those poems. The, the, the people who are in leadership roles need to see this. He wrote this in 1950. It is so true today. Admitting the mistakes that the elders have made. And it's now time for the young people to bring in fresh ideas. What we now need is fresh ideas. I'm going to be posting this poem on Facebook. It is so, so amazing that it was written in 1958. And yet... It has so much bearing on what is happening today in our country. Now, uh, Amarachi, Amarachi is just coming. Amarachi, you're welcome. We're celebrating. Amarachi is watching from somewhere in the East. We're celebrating World Poetry Day. Now, even though we're celebrating World Poetry Day today, 
that does not detract from our word of the day. And the word of our word of today is Hyatal. Hyatal. Hyatal is pronounced H Y E T A L. And it's an adjective which means relating to rain or rainfall or rainy regions. Let me see. I might have to hold this up properly. Hyatal. H Y E T A L. Can you see it? Hyatal. So when you're talking about rain or rainfall or rainy regions, regions you talk about higher toll. I didn't know that Lagos and Port Harcourt are higher toll. Even in the dry season, Lagos and Port Harcourt are higher toll. And worry too. And higher toll has to do with rain or rainfall or pertaining to rainy regions. Higher toll is spelled H Y E T A L. Higher toll. Higher toll. Now, if you go to my Facebook page, I always put on the word of the day. You can look at it, and there are many other words that you can look at. And if you miss this broadcast, you can go to my YouTube channel. You go to YouTube, you just click Irumena Amata. My link should come up, subscribe, and you can watch all the programs you have missed. I'd like to sh say a shout out to everyone who has come out. Oh, Zino, you're just coming on now about signing off. I want to shout out to everyone who was on today. Thank you, Judith. You're always my good student. Today, we've been talking, celebrating World Poetry Day, which was celebrated yesterday all over the world, 21st of March. And we celebrated by reading a poem written by the great Zeke of Africa. Everybody knows him as a politician, and everybody knows him as a publisher, everybody knows him as a journalist, but nobody knew him as a poet. So I read one of his poems, which he, which he titled Consummation Est, I don't know how to pronounce it, and it is the Latin for it is finished. And it was written in 1958, addressing the youth then, but so true to today. Now, because it is so short, and because some people are just coming on, I think I can still read it again. What do you think? And then you tell me what you think. I need you to think. I'm going to be putting it up. I'm going to put it up on Facebook later on after this, um, after this broadcast. Now, now is the time to make way for our growth. This is Zeke writing. And give them the chance to do what they have planned to make secure the freedom of our land, pursue fervently the path of our truth. We have had our chance to serve our native soil. We have fought the wars and won, but then we have found that we have left a legacy of toil. This nation shone, someone must build anew. This nation torn, someone must mold and forge. Bunk that was swallowed, someone must disgorge. New friends and comrades, someone must now woo. The old, we must admit, have done their best. We should now sing our consummation est. And that was written by the great Sikh of Africa on the 17th of November, 1958. It also, it also interests you to know that Ahmed Sekouture, the president of Guinea, was also a great poet too. Now that's what we've been doing today. We've been celebrating the World Poetry Day. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Zino, Amarachi, Judith Urugu, Mokhtar, my big brother from Asaba, Buchi, Njere Franka, Wane Opota. Thank you everybody for tuning in. It's been so glad. It's so, so glad to have you on today. Do tune in tomorrow for another episode and if you would like to hear more